Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, this is Srinivas Pujari. So uh, here we are going to discuss about the forecast. Okay, so how will enable the forecast and all. So um, to set up that, okay, how to set up the forecast and all. So uh, I have uh, not taken the same duplicate page. So let me remove this you know, uh, graph. So I'm going to add the line chart. So this line chart uh, I'm going to add here is, uh, uh, like, uh, so we have, yeah, so you can take the line chart. The line chart, I am going to add uh, data in X axis and uh, sales amount is in Y axis. And I'm just drill downing into quarter level. Okay. So now, if you want to analysis, okay, forecast is like a kind of future analysis, like uh, how the cricket projector score, like. Uh, uh, so how it's going to be, you know, increase and decrease kind of things. Okay. So here also uh, based on the previous sales amount. So how it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, you know, increase or decrease. Okay. What is the max value and what is the minimum value? So here is the forecast case. Okay. Here is the forecast. So just you on that forecast. So it's automatically added some points. Okay. See, so 10 points it added 10 quarters. It's added like, uh, so I have till you know, end of the quarter, I have, uh, you know, uh, July 2014, I have, like, sorry, 2014, end of the quarter, I have, so from there, I have added, you know, 10 quarters means it's more to the, uh, uh, you know, 17, um, 2017 quarter, okay, so qu quarter two. So if you don't want that, only four, uh, you know, you know, four quarters only, so then you can go and then apply only four quarters, like it will give only 2015 data. See, till 2015, okay, if you want only four quarters, you can go and then, and the seasonality means like, suppose, uh, suppose if you take one month, in one month, how many days we have? So like, uh, uh, in one month, how many days we have? Like uh, 30 to 31st days, right? So you can maintain the 31st, or if it is a quarter wise, okay, how many months, each quarter we have the, you know, uh, three months, okay? So like how many uh, months, so that many seasonality, you can uh, keep it here. So I'm not going that. Okay, if you want to uh, you know, maintain that much data points, you can go and then keep the data points, how much, uh, so seasonality, how much you want. And also the conference level. Okay, so like, uh, you know, so you can go and then 99% of okay, how much uh, your predict would be. Okay, how much predict would be. And then, so you, you, go, you can go and then uh, set that, uh, uh, you know, conference level and all. Um, now here, so for now it is going by default with the quarters. Okay. So if you want to, you know, year wise or month wise, day wise, so you can go and then select that and then click apply. So, uh, so we, we haven't changed anything, right? So, okay. We have changed only quarter, right? So if you want a month also, we can go and then change months. Okay. So that way we can, um, change the, um, you know, uh, this thing. Okay. So here also it's showing the, whenever you move here. So what is the upper bound and what is the lower bound and all. Okay. So how much it can be, you know, uh, increase and kind of things. Okay. And also you can go here and then uh, show as a table. Also, you can see the data in table also, how it is increasing. And then, so what is the confidence level? And then what is the boundary? Okay. Confidence boundary and all. And then forecast value and everything you can see. Okay. So that way we can go and then see that um, now, so if you want to, um, you know, um, like, so forecast line is there. So if you here, you can go and then apply some colors. Okay. Like what is the color you want to like, suppose if you want this color, so how it would be. And then, so even the transparency, you can go and then decrease the transparency. If you want the thickness. Okay. If you want to you know transparency 50, you can go and then so 50, you can. And also if the, you know, solid or dotted, if you want a dotted or uh, so these things, okay. So the line will be a dotted and then, okay. The line will be, you know, dashed if you want so the dashed lines will coming. Okay. So even if you want a different colors also, you can go and then change the different colors. Okay. It's, okay. So it's total on the forecast. Okay. So like, uh, so the, you, even you can change out and then even the conference like, uh, if it is fill or only line you want, okay, only you can go with the lines. Okay, if it is a lines, okay, you can it can be like this. And then if it is a none, okay, if you don't want the lines and all, just it will go like this. Okay, so but I am going with the fill by default one. 
so that is the forecast case okay this is the way we can set up the forecast for future analysis purpose okay hope you understand that um, okay please like uh, and uh, share and subscribe my channel guys for more videos power bi msbi and data warehouse okay thank you